Uh, my name is Kenneth, um, CSO at C Emotion. Um, C Emotion is a five years old company. Uh, uh, we have developed uh, the most realistic 3D fashion design, rendering, and definitely simulation. That's our course, you know, simulation technology for five years. Uh, Actually, I'm a new to fashion. I joined the motion this March. So I think I should start to introduce myself first, why I came to the fashion industry. Um, before joining the motion, uh, I co-founded a real-time facial motion capture. Oh, let me open it. Okay, yeah. So before joining the motion, I co-founded a real-time facial motion capture technology company um, for avatar animation uh, in 2015 and ran for five years. And I, I sold the company to Epic Games, so Fortnite game developer uh, in later 2020. Uh, when we started the company in 2015, that's the one year right after Facebook acquired Oculus. And you know, the Mark Zuckerberg said that in, in this is in, in 2015, like the VR will be the next uh, social platform. So we thought like, okay, uh, there could be another like real world in the digital space. But then all the social services in VR was just like this. That that's in 2015, and it's not real at all. I mean, there's no immersiveness. I mean, you you don't look at your your other people like face. There's no facial expression. It's not like uh, interactive. So that's how uh, we started our company in 2015 and developed that that real time facial motion capture technology. Um, and now, you know, everyone believes that, uh, hey, the facial expression is coming and the, the Meta announced that their new device next year is going to have the real-time facial motion capture. Uh, so that's the vision we had and it worked well. And then now our uh, two other co-founders, they're still with the uh, Unreal Engine, the Meta Human team, integrating our uh, facial tracking technology into uh, the Unreal's uh, uh, engine and also other services there. And I see the same vision in fashion. So when I decide to join the emotion, hey, the digital fashion is going to be the next one in this metaverse and uh, digital human space. But then uh, looking at the current uh, uh, qualities out there, I still see that it's not that much realistic at all. So that's how I joined the emotion and I'm, and I'm leading the emotions uh, metaverse and digital human business. So back to the emotion. So briefly, uh, we have our own uh, computer uh, software solution that uh, anyone can easily create the most really realistic uh, uh, 3D fashion assets like the the fabric quality and any size. I mean, if you have used other 3D design tool, you may be very familiar. It's very similar to what like full 3D or Broadware uh, provides. But the more important thing is that our closed simulation technology is the best in the market. It's best suitable for digital human animation and digital like avatar content creation and like for example like virtual runway like this. And this is the, the quality you can get with our software technology, like knitwear, heading jumper, or like a leather jacket, anything is possible to implement with our technology. Another sample, the quality of the fabric that you can get with our technology. Even like multi-layered, very complicated design possible.
But then like, uh, let's say you have creativeness and you are very, very great, talented the designer in real world, but, and, and you came just into the digital fashion industry and you introduced very cool, high quality 3D fashion assets. But when people purchase this one to use in the metaverse or digital avatar, if not, if it is not being simulated, I mean, then it doesn't have the, the full value that you expect, right? Like, for example, uh, you create the very great, like, physical design in the real world. And then it, uh, the very like high talented, like supermodel wears it and walk around or people purchase from the store and wear it and walk around the street. Then you see the full value that you expect. But it's not possible in the digital world yet because uh, without this full simulation technology, it's just like 2D like static image attached to the body of the digital avatar when, when the, the, the avatar wears the, your fashion asset. That, that's why you need the great full simulation technology that we are developing. Um, another uh, great example is that is for NFT. So this is the real sample that we have done. So from the IP on the left side that we got, we create, created the, um, the fashion NFT based on this IP. And on top of that, we created this simulated animation video to make it, make your NFT very realistic as possible. And also the good thing about uh, the fashion is that uh, so NFT buyers will get a chance to purchase the physical version. That's how we create this design and introduce to the NFT marketplace. So we will uh, uh, do the public NFT drop later this month. And when people purchase this NFT, they will get a chance to buy the physical version of this fashion, this petting jumper and this hoodie. That's the value that you can get with the clothing, clothes simulation technology we are providing. So this is another sample with the knitwear. And even this kind of extreme movement, you can see that the, all of these 3D garments are moving very naturally and very realistically. Even with this like very comp complicated design and multi-layered clothing, you can make it very realistic, realistic with your 3D fashion asset you created. And this is the one that we created using Unreal Game Engine. So we compared with all other like available flow simulation technology in the market. And we strongly believe that our technology is the best performing, the most accurate, the fastest. And this is how you create the 3D fashion asset from our tool and then create the simulation video. Very straightforward and very easy. And now uh, we are introducing the plugin for Maya and also Unreal. So the Maya version will be ready actually like today or tomorrow or better. I think so if you're interested, you can just contact us and share with you uh, our Maya plugin so that uh, what it does is uh you know a lot of uh, content creators or digital human uh uh creation studios uh, when they create the most realistic 3d fashion asset it takes a lot of time first they create the design from the 3d fashion asset design tool and then they export to maya or unreal and they 
a lot of things and whenever they need to change something they go back to the 3d fashion asset software tool a lot of go back and forth it takes a lot of time a lot of hassle a lot of energy but with this maya plugin and the unreal plugin that we are introducing you will save your time more than five this is the, the test we have done with our, for our partners and internally. And with our plugin, then you can easily create the fashion asset from our tool. And then just right after that, you can just export to Maya or Unreal Engine. And then you can do the rest of the work within very quick time, short time. So uh, uh, in summary, um, you know, I, 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 I'm not saying that still there's a lot of like, you know, like cartoony or uh, animated uh, the metaverse platform and avatars, especially targeted for younger generation. But when I looking at my previous startup and people thought that like, hey, why do you need facial expression technique? Yeah, still, you know, still very realistic, very immersive in VR. There's a lot of great content you can enjoy. That's true. But you know, computer graphic technology is being more and more advanced thanks to like Unreal Engine or Unity. And also the fashion and apparel company, especially like top brand, premium brand, they are very care, they, they're, they very much care about their like brand reputation and brand quality when they uh, bring their fashion asset onto metaverse and uh, for digital human. And they definitely want to see that uh, you know, uh, when digital human wears their 3D asset and make movement or uh, uh, make animation, uh, you know, it has to implement the best realistic fabric quality and the code simulation on, on that video. And we make that possible with our technology. Thank you. Thanks, Tony. Is there?